everybody, it's a tree. Um, okay, this is a stone for um, uh, Bart Sturgis. Okay, the little one, this one is the one that um, broke off, the little one that broke off and then Chance picked up and that he was able to name my painting Veritas, the Goddess of Truth, or whatever, from the stone the information that came. This stone is connected to Enoch and the octopus at the bottom of the sea. sea the octopus represents, well, I'm being shown anyway, in my visions of the uh, the tentacle things that hang out of the octopus, that it represents like the unrivaled brain or the decoded brain or the decoded mind of God, you know, and um, Jennifer told me the other day about octopus, she said that they are, I don't know, my fingernails are a little cheesy, <laughs> um, um, she told me that octopuses can like, make themselves as small as they want to, s to avoid danger to slip through. They're called slips. But the, sorry about the list, but I got too much super glue in my fake fingernail teeth again. Uh, but she told me that, that the octopus can make himself this small and then go inside of himself and make a slip and go through it to escape. Like, she said an octopus can literally make itself like this that saw and go back inside of it, a slip, and then slip through. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. Um, the Aquamarine, I've been doing some investigating on it. You know, and it's a place I checked, said basically I was told the Aquamarine is ba basically worthless now because there are no more specimens. It's very rare that they find a specimen that you can see through that's all the way clear. They said the good specimens now you can kind of see through are translucent but not transparent. But as you can see, and, and the, um, like the, the, they the, this goes from light blue and it gets like a deeper sea green, you know, when I rub it and stuff like that. So this is like, um, anyway, though, they told me that they're basically worse, worthless and that almost all the aquamarines, you know, the new samples that are coming in are all cracked or, or smoky or you cannot see through at all. The clarity is basically gone. Well, last night, this, um, Inashiana told me that there are 80 pounds total left in the world of her, okay, and so whoever has the other, um, I have 27 pounds of it, so it's 27, or eight, 80 minus 27, let me see, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so that's 53 pounds out there of aquamarine that is still in the world that is not damaged because basically the aquamarine is almost extinct now and then they told me that the bigger cases they said any anywhere from one thousand to two thousand dollars a carat um because it's so rare to get but anyway these are not for sale though. but i'm just showing you that you know why in the entire universe you know i got chosen to be given to receive um that to, you know to not you know, I, 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 I think I might be the only person in the world, <laughs> maybe, that would not would, that will not sell this. I don't know about you guys, any of you magical people out there in the world, you know, ask yourself this, you know, if you had this, what, would you sell it? Would you? What would be more important to you? The magic and the information and the potential in it? Or, um, the money? Well, anyhow, pure magic. Um, and another thing too, um, Larry won't give me my allowance again this time, which means that, you know, that's another test from the universe, <laughs> basically saying to me, a temptation to go, you know, sell her, but I won't, because I, I wanted to buy some paint so I could work on my painting, and I wanted, to, I needed to get some stuff to make more teeth, and I wanted to get a black light, and I wanted to get, um, see some paint, and and um, I wanted to. Um, man, I wish I, I wish I could buy all of Jennifer's paintings. <laughs> man, alive. Um, but uh, still, I'll be able to see every one of them though, and maybe even bring one home, e a couple home each night to film. I'm gonna see if I can, so we can go through the entire series of pictures because Jennifer told me that her magic pictures. Okay, she's made over 200 of them. She started channeling them about a year ago. I mean, excuse me, about 20 years ago. About 20 years ago. 
and when she was close to 40, all of a sudden she started, she'd never done anything like this before in her life, and all of a sudden she started doing these paintings nonstop. It was like an obsession. It's taken over 20 years of her life. So much information. She has over 200 paintings. A couple of them that I've seen are as big as a wall. <laughs> uh, um, what I'm receiving from Nashiana is telling me that uh, all of these pictures together form the entire blueprint or the code of creation, the secrets of the grail. Um, you know, everything that, you know, the, the codes, the, the, um, seven seals, um, the seven seals, I don't even know what that means. I don't know why I just said that. Seven seals of Solomon? What, seven, I'm going to have to do some research on that. Um, okay, so anyhow, I told you about Laura, you know, and get, want to give her the diamond to save her family and everything, and give her grandkids out of foster care, and, um, you know, she's got a sister-in-law and a niece that both do the math, you know, and have been coming over to her house, get her, you know, so she's been, from what I can see, she's been doing it more, and she just came over a little bit ago to get her diamond, and I had it buried in my lady lion planter, you know, with dirt, the, the dirt I'd gotten from outside, you know, I went out at night time and got it, the dirt, um, and I told her, take the powder, you know, that was buried in the dirt, and I was like, and then you can get your grandkids back. And she's like, oh, well, I can't get my grandkids back. They're all little now. And she just waved her hand in the air like, no big deal. And I'm like going, wait a second. I, I, this woman made such an impression on me about being an earth mother, about being a mother, fighting for her family and her grandkids and that baby. And, and, and her daughter coming out of treatment, needing a home for her new baby, you know, that was born on drugs and stuff. But, you know, she's in treatment and all the things, you know, that could come from this diamond. And Laura's like, oh, we ain't getting the kids back, you know, and she didn't even, she flew her hand in the air like it didn't even matter. It's fucking goddamn drugs, man, how they change people, they make people not care. Anyhow, she went, Larry was out getting his laundry, and then, by, and then he saw Laura, and she was all snotty to him, and she gave him the, the planter back, the li lady lion planter with the dirt, and she says, there's shit in here, there's cat shit in there, and she, she like, like that, disgusted, and then like, and I left it, left it. <laughs> I didn't know I put cat. I didn't know there was cat shit in the dirt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was. It was a night time out when I got the dirt from outside. And I didn't know that. Anyhow, yeah, well, the diamond, whether it's a diamond or not, still I don't know. But it's still here. I still have it. <laughs> she didn't want it. She's like, <laughs> but you know, she <laughs> just breaks my heart. I don't understand. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? <laughs>